such high winds for so many hours definitely took a toll on property all over New England. This tree went right through the roof of a home in Wayland. Tonight, Ken McLeod shows us how homeowners are coping after some very bad luck. The wind is still howling out here, perhaps not quite as fierce as it was late this afternoon. That's when this house on Waltham Road took a nasty direct hit, and believe me, it is not an isolated incident. Do you want me to move that? Jeff McNulty was in surprisingly good spirits tonight as he showed us the pine tree that crashed through his roof in Wayland, one of dozens across Metro West. If there's a few trees down this road, it's dangerous out here. He wasn't home at the time, and neither was Lisa Goldsmith when a tree pounded her house in Natick. A neighbor emailed me um, while I was at work saying that a tree fell on our house, so I came home and saw it. <laughs> Blocked roads were pretty common for the evening commute as power crews worked on lines dragged down by falling trees. That's the baby. But near downtown Natick, police kept folks off Main Street as some sheet metal dangled precariously from a church steeple amid the powerful winds. Seemed like stuff was getting blown down everywhere. We've seen about uh, five or six houses damaged by trees <laughs> and tree branches. In fact, Nicole Chasen gave her son specific instructions for the ride home from school. When they got off, I just said, run for the front door. <laughs> I see joggers going by now, looking at the tree through my roof. But, uh, yeah, it's just a nightmare. Back in Wayland, Jeff McNulty was getting his fill of insurance adjusters and building inspectors. But tree removal will have to wait until tomorrow. And this windstorm has him rethinking his beautiful wooded lot. I feel like taking a chainsaw and cutting all these trees down before another one comes. Town officials tell me most of the trees that came down were tall pines with shallow root systems that were simply no match for these powerful winds. In Wayland tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.